the movie today we're doing I'll be get oh wait 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 it's the wrong movie, wrong movie, wrong movie my apologies and, and today we're doing the horror movie this movie Abigail holy shit we have a lot on our hands with this movie was it overhyped yes it was it was overhyped but the spoiler alert it actually ended up awesome let me explain we're coming from this and this this is absolutely eh, eh, like you know I mean, Rotten Tomatoes is alright, it's alright, it is, you know, it is. You bet, like, night, 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 you know? Okay, so let's get into the cast, should we? Ah, uh, cast. Yeah, yeah, now you know why the hype is and everything, you know, which kind of makes sense, you know? So, what we're going to do, without further ado, we are going to go through them, right? So, first off, we've got this guy here. He acts great and Abigail and everything, but fortunately, you know, um, I, I moved the picture there. Shit. Unfortunately, you know, what happened to him, um, deeply, it's very, very tragic. Um, I'm trying to get this right. God damn it. Okay. Um, fortunately, if you look at that, uh, um, as well, I will review, but... If you just need to look up, you know it is. But all that I can tell you is he acts great in this movie. You know, and I don't think there'd be no regrets um, how he acts in this. Now we have Alicia Ware. If I'm saying it's Alicia Ware. Um, if I'm saying it right, Alicia Ware. Yes. Um, this is all credit to her. I I'm not kidding. All credit to her um, playing this wonderful part. So they kidnap this girl and turn because she's supposed to be some boss famous and they're supposed to get like um, 50 million dollars but they have to stay at this place for the ransom and it uncovers it turns out she's a vampire and when they bring it into it it is absolutely fantastic i'm not kidding the line she does is just gold solid and it just hits the mark she has a bright future you know if she carries on like this and it turns absolutely chaos you can look and see for yourself like you can see what she's been in and that. Matilda the Musical, that was okay to me. I, I, I kind of enjoyed it. That was fun as well. And I get that vibe from her in this horror movie. The main pointer, what I wanted to point out to this, is the next one. Melissa Barrera. Holy shit. She, she proves... That she is worthy in that other, you know, company. Spy glasses over here like this. And, oh, you know, and, uh, yeah, yeah, we got to fire Melissa because she did nothing wrong and stuff like that, you know. And we want Neve Kimber to come back. And uh, and then all of a sudden, it's so long it is. And she's like, oh, I'll take that off. I'll take that off. You know, I'll take the script, you know. You know, I need, uh, you know, to be back in, you know, it is. And, uh, and then all of a sudden, someone else. Um, we would like to take Melissa and Neve Campbell. You know, and maybe the movie itself, if you sell it to us, and we can give them triple the amount uh, for the acting of the performance as well, you know. And Spyglass is like, yeah, I'm, I'm good, 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 you know. We a wonderful company and all this kind and that, and then it is called gasoline, you know, it is, it is. And then she's like, you know, I'll take the power, I'll take the power. And then 24 is like saying, well, bro, you're missing out. I'll see myself out. It's all a joke. I don't own any of the pictures. But if you don't like what I've said and everything, yeah, you know what you can do? You can eat some broccoli and cabbage. Yes, you can eat some broccoli and cabbage. 
you know, let's sway on. Melissa Barrera, like I said, this is her, some of a lot of her details. You know, you can't go wrong with this. You you cannot go wrong with this. She is a highlight. And when you have the Abigail and Mar Melissa, Marissa, Mar I can't speak right, okay? I can't speak right because she's just... Whoa. <laughs> Oh, that's hot. That's hot. <laughs> um, that's better. Another highlight is Catherine Uton. Catherine Uton. Catherine U. Is so hyped, and that's why I just kept it to the little coming soon teaser. You know, so I wasn't small, but you can see why she's pretty hyped up and then she was in Freaky and then Lisa Frankenstein. So you know the drill with her. It's a overhyped movie, but she plays wonderful in this as well. Like, I have really not any negatives about the actors, about what goes on, you know, with these. But she plays a great part, especially one scene. Oh my goodness. Then we have this guy. He's 50 years old. Kevin Dorned. And he plays pretty well. He plays pretty well in this as well. No, I'm trying not to spoil anything for you. Spoil anything. You know, spoil anything for you. Okay, just just put it out there. Just put it out there. And this, he looks like he's jacking off to... God knows what, but his face looks familiar. His face looks familiar. I, you know what it is. So the movie's gonna be tough because it was so overhyped and I was really angry. I was gonna go on a massive rant. I still might in another video, but um, this movie itself, um, I'm going to give it a 9.5. And the reason why is I feel like the ending was a little bit stretched out, which we already know when you're watching a movie. But besides that, there was some parts in the movie that was stretched out as well, which was unnecessary. That's the only really negative about it, really, at the end of the day. So that's why I would have given this a 10 out of 10 if it wasn't for that. But I'm going to give it a 9.5. The gore, though, when it starts, oh my goodness. For a vampire thing, and I watched Renefield, and I absolutely loved that from Nicolas Cage, uh, everything. I'm going to have to give this actual 10, um, because it executes well when it starts, and the scene surroundings as well, as well. So, go and watch it. Go and watch it. If you don't go and watch it, go and eat some cabbage. Yeah.